Hey there, it's Lee from templatelauncher.com and thank you for checking out our awesome new Tripwire landing page. Now this page is perfect for the Tripwire marketing technique and if you're not familiar with it, uh, the Tripwire marketing technique is, is where you sell a customer a really inexpensive product in hopes of upselling them a more expensive product in your funnel. So uh, for example, on this, on this page we have a product for $2.95 and then you can show related products to upsell and finally just a summary and a uh, no thanks I don't I don't want this deal but maybe I'll take another one of your deals so what I'm gonna do is walk you through real quick how to use our template um, we've got drag and drop we've got background of uh, background library with over 200 different background images textures videos and colors we have an animation library which we've just added to our control panel that has 50 plus awesome animations. You can turn them off too if you'd rather not have them, but uh, we, we really have found that it really increases engagement and interest with your uh, site visitors. And finally, this how-to video that I'm shooting right now uh, is right here in this template how-to. So if you have any questions, you can go straight to that. But what I'm going to do is head on over to the builder and show you how to use all these different tools. All right, so we're over in the builder now. So why don't I just go through our control panel step by step. Um, first of all, the control panel lives right here on this little yellow tab with a gear on it. So if you click that, it shows it. And if you click it again, it'll hide it for you. So the drag and drop is just what it says. You can drag and drop the different sections of the page and it's super simple to use. So you just pick it up, drag it down, and there you go, change the order. So we'll grab the order summary, move it up top here. Gives you the flexibility of uh, really making this page exactly how you want it laid out. The other really cool thing we do here is if you hover over a drag and drop section, you'll notice this click to reorder on some sections, not all, but some, and you can click that and rearrange that the uh, elements within that section. So let us let me drag up this related products. We've got three columns in that. Click that and you can rearrange the order of the columns as well as the order of the page. Pretty freaking cool. So I'm gonna put this back in order uh, right here. So here's the original order of the page. Next, I'm gonna show you the background library. And this is a really cool section. It's really simple to use. And I'll show you how to do it. Uh, first of all, you select the section that you want to change the background on. And then there's a variety of settings for each section. So if, if you select header, which is this first section, the next section is products, related products, order summary, and then the no thanks section. Every section of the page, you can change the background, image, texture, video, or color. So this first section we have parallax on. Let me click it off just to show you what it does. When you click it off, see how the image scrolls up with the page? And you know what, I'm gonna minimize this just to give you a little more uh, window real estate. And when I click it back on, notice how it stays fixed in place. So parallax, you can turn it off or on on every section and you can also do that with custom background images within that section as well. So I'll show you how to do that uh, after I go through this. So I'm gonna turn it, I'm gonna turn it back on, and then you'll notice the next setting you can adjust is the overlay opacity. And basically this is for situations where you might have a really bright or dark background image and your font color blends in. So uh, for example, if I select this uh, background, notice how the font fades away into the background. It's really hard to see what you can just adjust the opacity to make it stand out better. But this is really how simple it is to change out a background image. You just click on it and once you hit save, it saves that image as the background for each section. So there's, like I said, there's over, uh, I think there's a 200 plus images in here right now. So, and if you scroll down to the bottom, we've got this really cool section of these uh, low poly uh, geometric background images which I think are really cool and you can do some really neat stuff with. Turn the opacity off, check that out. Um, 
So let me scroll down to the next section and we'll just we'll show you how to do that one real quick. I'll put a video in this section. There you go, super simple. Now you have a background video. You can turn parallax on with background videos as well. So have the same effect there. And I'm going to just change that back to the white color. And I'm going to change this back to the original image. If I can remember what it was. There it is, the oranges. Oops. Need to change it to the right section. Header, image, and oranges. There we go. Then I'll change the opacity. Okay, next on our list is our awesome new animation library. And this works very similarly to the background section. You pick the section and then you pick the element within that section that you want to animate and then you pick from the R library of animations. So in this header section, let's choose the title because it's set to that and let's try uh, one of these other animations. Ru the rubber band one is one of my favorites. Let's try that. Whoa, isn't that cool? Make it bounce, you can make it flash. Like I said, there's there's 50 plus animations. And again, all you do is you just pick that. Once you hit save, we uh, save it. And when the page loads and comes in the viewport, the animation is executed. So let's change this to rubber band because I really like it. I'm gonna scroll down to this next, to the product section here. And let's change those to rubber band as well. The text, change the card. So we give you a lot of control over each of the elements within each section. And you can turn the animations off as well. If, if you'd rather not have those, just set it to no animation. Um, our default though is to have animations. So you'll have to go through and set each one. And uh, that's it for these three pieces of functionality. Finally, this is the template how-to video. Uh, if you have any questions with how to use our template or how to use one of the pieces of functionality, check the video first and uh, watch, watch it through. If it doesn't answer your questions, we'd be more than happy to uh, answer any emails or anything. So please you know, go to our site, templatelauncher.com check out this, the contact section, send us an email. Uh, we also have our personal emails on there as well. And you can, you know, we're very responsive and we, we're always checking our emails 24 seven. So we'd be more than happy to help you out. Um, a few more things I wanna show you. There's just a few little nuances with the builder. I'm gonna hide our control panel, show the lead pages builder. And I'm gonna show you how to, to change out the custom backgrounds, uh, to use your own custom images. So the way each section works is it has a background image and a custom background image that sits behind it. So think of these as layers. The top layer is the background image from our media library. And then right below that is a custom background image. And then below that layer, we have the custom color background image. So you can do custom solid colors as well. So I'm gonna hide this background image and then I'm gonna just choose an image from our library. And again, you can upload your own if you'd like. Um, I've got this one already in the library, so I'm gonna pick that. And like I said, you can set the parallax on or off just like you can uh, with the library images. I'm gonna turn the opacity off and I'm gonna turn the parallax off. And so as you can see, we have a custom image there turn it back on so you can see the difference. There's the custom image set with parallax scrolling. Okay, and then the next thing we can do is we can hide that and head on over here to the style section and you can go to the, to the background of each section and set a custom color. So I'm gonna go to the header background. And I'm gonna change that to a bright red. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so you can do this with every section. So you just need to make sure that you hide each section. A lot of times, like I'll come over here and I'll go to the products section and I'll change the color and I'm like, what? why isn't it changing? Uh, come back over to the content, hide the background layer, hide the custom background layer, and you're in business. Um, 
And also over here in this style section, we have an accent color. We, uh, we try to limit the color selection to really keep a cohesive design. So you can change that accent color to any color you like. And, and that accent color goes on the buttons and some of these other pricing, uh, pricing numbers here. So let's pick, let's pick like, a, there we go, like a nice black, black and red. So notice how it changed all the accent color to the same. And then we have the hover color. So this is basically the color you would see when you hover over uh, the buttons. And you can change the button color, the button font color as well. Um, right here and you can change the font colors of each section as well so uh, that's really it uh, that's all I have to show you if you have any other questions by all means head on over to templatelauncher.com thanks again for checking out our template hopefully you bought it and hopefully you'll go out and start selling some tripwire products and upselling some you know major major money, drive some sales, and uh, have some great success with it. So thanks again. Have a great day. And this is Lee signing off.